Greetings and welcome back to Autonauts. I'm Catherine of Sky and my head is in a very, very, very owy place today. Um, so apologies if I am appearing a bit derpy, more derpy than usual. Um, anyway, I'm told we can turn off bot recharging in the menu. I have not seen that until somebody mentioned it to me. Uh, so we have that. Uh, do we want to change it? Kinda. I mean, I've talked about it enough that uh, it wasn't one of my favorite parts of the thing. Also, someone mentioned that we can now, we now have this sign uh, database here or, or sign list. We can actually change the sign by clicking on it instead of walking over to it. I love that quality of life thing. So let's see, how many bots do we actually have assigned to charging? We have at least four in the main area or the one that keeps walking around. And then there are parts of the others. I guess I would be kind of hypocritical if I didn't turn it off. Wouldn't that be? But but then again, we already have it set up, so it's a thing. But then again, they're just blinking all the time. So I think we're going to turn it off. We're going to turn it off. Okay, bot recharging. Off. Thank you. So, uh, mm, good. Ha! Huh, look at that. All right, so I'm going to take these charge bots. We're going to stop the team. Stop. And then where are we making bots? I, uh, most recently I was playing the, um, oh, there they are. Okay. Most recently I was playing the, the, the stream factory or, and I was like, I can't, I'm like, eh, where is stuff? Hello. So I have called all the bots to me. There they all come. Somebody suggested that the bots color should be changed based on their role color, but their, their name tags are on the color. I guess it would help though for like areas like this where they um, they don't have the name tags above them unless you select the team. However, um, oh, okay. Construction technology, hooray. Get the crude stone track, excellent. Arch door, uh, another arch, dry stone wall, log arch and a log wall, excellent. This is fantastic. Um, However, let's see, Bart, bot maker, stop, come to me. Um, the thing is, though, that... Let me just dissolve this team as well. Okay, so what other teams? Do I remember others that have a charge bot? You know, we can probably search it. Mm -hmm. Charge. Okay, berry charge bot. Stop and come to me. I'm going to take this one down to the bottom. Okay, charge. Let's just go from the top. This is... Stop, come to me. Okay. Charge bot two. Okay, that one's already here. I'm gonna just copy this thing, I think. Uh, forest. I wish I had named all of them with the names of the areas, because I thought, ah, it'll be fine. I don't need to name the area. Um, thank you very much. Ooh, new research levels. Hooray! Okay, come to me. So forest charge bot is over there. We're gonna rename these, and we're going to... Just basically make them available. Okay, so charge. Uh, charge rover. That's the one that's carrying the sign, I believe. Bot maker charge bot. Okay, stop. Come to me. Is it here? Might be already here. Okay, uh, I think that's it. And if we find any later, we can always get them. But these guys basically just need to be wiped. And I'm just going to call them M. I think that's fine. Okay. That indicates they are just usable for anything right now. Oh God, I hope I didn't delete something that I didn't mean to. <laughs> As in something that wasn't categorized. Anyway, but if you have if you have desires to use charging, that is completely up to you. And I've shown you how to do the roving, which is pretty good. Okay, berries are gonna go up here. All right, fantastic. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So now what are we going to do? 
Okay, we are gonna... So we just got research done. Let's find out what we got. Okay, we got these crude arch door. We got this. We have to click on them so they won't so they'll stop blinking. Uh, dry stone wall. Some uh, machines need to be enclosed in walls. That's why we have these. Now we have crude flooring, sandy track, and a crude stone track. I really want to build crude stone tracks. Do we have an area for blueprint making? We do. We do have an area. But... Uh, okay, let's let's figure this thing out. Hold on. Grumble. Grumble. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Let's delete the things that are completed. This looks like it's done. Okay. These are not done. They are getting there, though. This one is not done. Okay. And what is this making? Conveyor belts. Ah, yes. Interesting. Okay. These also need planks. I guess those are getting done. Let's uh, delete these conveyor belts. I forgot if we were going to use those or where we're going to use them. Like, completely forgot. But that's okay. We'll get to it. Uh, we need to start making... So what I want to do is I want to define the area of the blueprinting. BPs are here. Okay. So what I'm going to do in this instance is I'm going to... Uh, uh, mm, dig, dig. I'm going to do a thing called digging. Digging out the corners. All right, let's go, uh, go and check the research as well, though. I'm going to do stuff that we have the stuff to use. So let's do, let's see, wooden flooring or fencing, structural parts, and carrots and coconuts. Ooh, cool. I've never done either, I don't think. Huh. Let's do one of those. We can also do the log cabins, which are the new housing for our little peeps. Let's do the logs over there. So I'll pick up a log and drop it in. And um, let's see on this side. Of course, you can do the same research if you wanted to go faster. That is possible, but I don't think uh, we really need to. I want to do two, two different researches, get new stuff coming in. So let's get the structural parts. That is going to be a pole. Let's go over here and grab a pole. Um, the, and part of the reason for that is that I don't want to change them as often. So that, that really works for me quite well. All right, I want to grab, this is a spade. Hooray. Let's see where the BPs are. All right, so here, dig here, please. Just making sure. Yep, yeah, that is the corner, start of the corner. I'm just going to do like the corner bits here. Just so I know like where I can put stuff. That'll become obvious in just a second when I, I get some other stuff done here. And it's going to end in the forest, obviously. And then up here. Okay, now it's done. I'm going to start here. We might choose a different way to allocate this later. Maybe we'll put flooring on the edges or something like that. Or maybe have a bot dig on the edges. That would, that would actually be okay. Is if I had the whole area dug up. Um, by a, maybe I should dig the entire area up just to allocate, ah, this is a thing. But then if you, if you drop something accidentally, like a seed or, or yeah, that might not work so well. I don't know. All right. Let me grab all of the thingies here. Uh, where are we storing those? Oh, here, here, of course. Okay. And we'll grab the rest here. By the way, if you need more turf, like, so we mentioned, I think it was in the last episode, that, um, and you'll see here, we dug up three squares and we got four things. So if you are getting rid of too much turf via rainfall, it just dissolves in the rain. Wait, how did this chicken get up here? Hello? Dude. Oh, thank God. Okay. It was, <laughs> I got stacked somehow. Um, anyway, if you set up a turf digging bot, you'll occasionally get two squares of turf from the thingy. So now I would like to go and add some track. I really want them to make this stuff here. That is interesting. Okay. Can I put underneath? No, I cannot. Okay. We're going to have to just do a little bit of things and stuff here. Things and stuff are happening now. Hooray. There we go. Okay. So we have this. Um, the traveling farm prep. Hmm. 
kind of wonder if I should just outline the entire thing. It would be more obvious, but then again, do we need to be more obvious? Probably not. Probably not. All right. Looks like our little children are quite happy with their situation. Do they all, they all look like they're producing love. Uh, these are not having logs, but I think we solved that. A few people mentioned to me that some of my forest bots might be in trouble. Like the hole digger bots, they have the wrong things. They look like they have spades. Somebody said they had um, pickaxes. Looks like the only one with the pickaxes is stone miner. So the forest ones are okay. Let's see. Crop digger, hole digger, turf digger. They also have the correct thing. Uh, berries. Weeds and everything else. Okay. Well, that is seems to be okay and solved and good and nice. Now, I need to figure out what we're doing next here. We have... We're on level two shelter. The folks seem to be happy. It looks like we're producing some food for them. A lot of them are happy. Some of them are starving to death, which is not ideal. Um, this is spiced berry storage. This is the collector for spice berries. Okay, that's fine. Um, somebody mentioned that I put this thing in the wrong place. I think that's that's a valid concern. Uh, I, I think I was planning to have the stripes go the other way, but it didn't happen, obviously. So I'm going to pick up this thing and move it here. Much easier to move the storage than move the stripes. So weeds are full. So now we need to figure out what the next level of technology is going to be. And we have gotten some stuff and things. We have new walls and things as well. Doors. Um, crude arches. That arch looks so cool. We could build some archy things if we want to. Of course, those aren't really needed until we get, like, the clothing stuff, as I recall. So, yeah, not completely needed right now. We have food going on. We have that. I think we're actually pretty good for, for the moment here. Did we build a bot storage? I think we did. What are we missing here? Panels and square frames. Okay, those are definitely needed. Um, it looks like we also need another stone digger. Uh, let's copy that one. Stone miners. Let's see. Let's upload the program in case it's not in there. Apparently, you can also put these into folders. Oh, cool. That's fun. So that could be very useful uh, if you need them. I am i don't know if we actually have any to put into a folder. Maybe the Wuv people. Maybe there's two weed people, but like two people in a folder. I guess it's not bad. Ah, it's fine. I'm good with it right now. All right, let's, let's change one of these new M people. Let's uh, record you. Yes. And then trash the program. And then... Go. No. Okay, so we need to figure out how this is linked. We're going to unlink. Okay, excellent. Actually, ha! Actually, I should have kept it linked. <laughs> because because they're both going to be stone miners. That's, yeah. Okay, link program and go. All right, the next one. Uh, I guess I don't have, do I have to delete it? Let's see. Let's see. Stone miner, link. Yup, did it. Just completely overwrote the program without having to me to delete it. That's very, very handy. One of the things about this game that I think is very underestimated in a lot of games is the convenience factor and the quality of life. Like, the devs really put some nice quality of life into this game. I was actually remarking on that, I think, in one of the yesterdays. I, I recorded, like, five episodes of Factorio, but one of the things about Factorio is you have many train stations, right? And you have to put them in order, like on my building train, I have quite a lot of stations. But when you when you move stuff, it doesn't scroll like this. You have to move it. Then you have to go down, click it again, move it again, go down or up or whatever. And it's like, how is that not in the game? I would love for that to be part of Factorio. It's so convenient. So anyway, okay, so now we've got three stone miners going at it. Maybe we take another one. Why not? Let's get another stone miner, and then that will give us a lot more uh, pro uh, throughput. A lot more throughput. Okay, we have many of these guys here. That's great. And this, interesting. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it looks so weird. 
Uh, all right, so what are we waiting on? I keep looking down here because I think it's it's kind of where my other factory bits and pieces are. All right, we're getting there. Things are happening here. But what are we missing? Are we missing anything? Looks like food is in very short supply. I feel like it would be probably better. Why are these doing nothing? Hello? Weeds to pot and berries to pot and they're not working. Oh, there's no recipe set? Oh my god, that's so bad. Oh, that's bad of me. Whoops, okay. That will help. Mm-hmm. Cool. So I was wondering, like, how can four pot, pot, pot cooker people not be enough for this amount of bot or child children? Okay, that's much better. Now we are cooking with berries. Excellent. Very, very good. Uh, that works nicely. We can. I wonder if we pave this area, if they will be uh, good at doing this. So what you can do is you can either do what I'm doing, which is pre, pre doing paths and, or pre, pre making the blueprint and then place it later, which I find very convenient because it reduces the, the trips from the bots that are making stuff, right? Cause they got to go a certain distance and, um, or you can put the paths down here and have like a roving sign kind of thing going on. And that works as well. So, um, we now have the garbage container, which is the Moai head that we just got, just FYI. This bot, I feel like, really needs some sneakers. Definitely needs some sneakers. I want to make... Let's see. Here's the sign maker. Is that the... I don't think so. I think we need the bot upgrade maker to make this thing. Also, where did those disappear to? Oh, they're here. Ah, because panels and stuff. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Which we don't... I don't know if we have them yet. We have to check. We need to check on those. Uh, basic bot workbench can go here. What what can we make here? No panels. No, I think that's at the structural workbench. So I want to make some shoes. Let's make shoes. Crude gear four. I think I'm going to have somebody making these things. I'm not going to be doing this. This is a lot of work. I'm going to have them putting them in a box and then I'll replace, I'll just uh, add them to the bot or maybe have somebody add them to the bot. That is also another idea. So wait, what happened? Oh, did I not get a pull? Oh, I must've missed that. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk to this bot. Stop. I'm going to walk here. What is the command here for this? Oh, God. Okay. Is it alt-click? No. Control-click? Control-right-click. Okay, that installs the shoes. Oh, whoops. Go. Go. Okay, so control right click. I right, gotta remember that one. All right, so I'm gonna put this thing where it needs to go. Let's leave a. Make sure we leave a. Do we need to? Yeah, we need to leave a space because the box is gonna go in front. Got ten boxes left. I wish you could make more without using up the ones we have. Like, cause, cause if I try to put a blueprint, it'll place nine boxes and then the blueprints, which is not ideal. Okay, let's get a bot. How about you? Stop. Uh, come to me. We're going to record you and delete. We're going to grab... Ooh, this one might need help, actually. This might need a... Just come here. Um... I think we might need to build arms for this guy because he can't carry two gears at a time, I don't think, if he doesn't have arms. So let's grab uh, two more gears. Come on. Sometimes it's weird. I feel like I, I actually click it, but it doesn't work. Okay, let me just make him shoes as well. Okay. No, that didn't work. 
That did not work. Thank you. Let's put that down over there. Now then, uh, you, let's give you this. It was control right click. Okay, but I don't think he has, oh god, that's so funny. Look at how he, he's so fat now. <laughs> oh, come on. This one, yes, yes. Okay, he only has one upgrade slot. That's okay, though. We're going to teach him how to make a thing. Let's get the... Um, we need to get the shoes. All right, I'll go put this back in the box here. Or back on the pad, I should say. Um, I don't know if this is going to work, because he might need extra memory cells. Okay, let's get uh, gears in the box. Hello, record. Oh, no, I didn't. Huh? Thought I put that down. All right, anyway, regardless, let's pick up a thing. I will repeat this one. All right, we don't need to repeat it. We can just click it again like that. Okay, and then we drop it here. Okay, and we need to do that twice. Okay. Yeah, five kilobytes free. This ain't gonna be good. Then we can go here. That's two kilobytes free. Eh. We're gonna do a repeat. Hmm. Maybe somebody gave me an interesting idea. Repeat until blank. Ah, but we can't because we don't. We can't do the thing. We have to do times because we would need another forever loop. Because if we do an empty or not empty, it's gonna stop when it gets empty. So we're gonna do times. We'll just do it twenty times. Okay. Um. That should give us the thing. I think. Except I forgot to get the other two gears, so let me just do that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's just finish the item. So now we can record, take these off. Oh, no. No, I just wanted to delete this thingy. There you go. Okay, so you're going to be... Um, shoemaker. <laughs> That's funny. Shoemaker. Yeah. Okay, go. And then, what I'm going to do... You know what we could do? We could have... A bot. I wonder when it stops. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is, we could give bots shoes. Every single bot in this line could get shoes. Okay? Um, but... How does it know when to stop? Like, if it has shoes, does it still try to give it shoes? I'm confused by this. Might. Might not. I don't know how, how smart the programming is on that. I really have no idea. I've never done this before. I don't... Well, no, I actually have done this, but I've forgotten. I think that's the main issue. I've forgotten. Okay, so now let's train a new bot. How about you? You're going to be shoe giver. Shoe giver. Uh, stop. And you're going to be... Why is this? Eh? Okay. You're going to pick up a shoe. And then... It's control right click, I think. Go to here and give it to the bot. Okay, and we're just going to do... Let's just do this entire area here. Uh, let's move it forward one. Yep, there we go. Okay. Do it forever. Go. Uh, you're just going to be shoe giver. Um, sure. That's weird that it didn't update the name. Okay. Find nearest. Yep. I guess I could do... You know what? Let's stop this. I want to do a little bit better program here. Let's repeat this one here until hands full and then we can do this repeat until hands empty and that's better and I'll do an escape as well there record just in case there's not enough stuff on that uh, 
they haven't made enough shoes, that kind of thing. Okay, we now have automated. This is exciting. We have automated shoeing. Also, these conveyor belts are not in an area that they will ever be built. So sad times. We have to move them. Uh, okay. This, go. Okay, good. Just notice that they were out of the little uh, corner piece there. Okay, so now, hopefully that's going to get to a lot of blueprint bots and any other bots that I can think of that kind of could benefit from, from that. Let's see. Let us go ahead and delete, or, well, basically put them into storage. It's not actually deleting these items. It's just putting it into our storage here. So I think let's do that for berries. Why not? Okay, very good. Then we make more. Many more. Excellent. Okay, good. Okay, things are going. Things are happening. And variables getting made. Hooray. Very hooray. All right, we're still kind of waiting on the research right now. This is one that's almost done the shelter technology. That's a very good thing. The structural parts are really necessary. I should have done those first. They really that are that important because those are the things that enables us to make, uh, like we see over here, the sp square uh, frames and the panels. And those are a massive, massive, massive undertaking. Those we need a lot of stuff for. Did we get those upgraded saws yet? I don't think so. No, we don't have the saws yet. That's uh, not, that's not great. Look at all these miners going away at this. This is pretty good. I'm going to put in extra boxes here because why not? I also think we might need even more miners. So I'm going to make one more miner. For now. Stone miner. Let's go. So let's put you up into the forest bots. And then I want to move those other ones, the shoemakers. Hmm. Stone. Oh, whoops. Did I... Did I mess that up somehow? I feel like I put one in the wrong category now. Shoemaker goes into makers. How? Hmm. I think I'll put the giver into the maker category as well. I think that that could be a good idea just to have that there. I'm going to move here and I'm going to call all of these bots here. Most of them are, oh God. Okay. Here. How about you? Call. Maybe I, I, oh, wow, we already used most of them. That's excellent. But let's get these upgraded with the speed upgrade. I feel like bots, almost all bots should have the speed upgrade in general. <laughs> that would be nice. Also, I might uh, do some stone pathing here to get a little bit of uh, that, um, yeah, get that worked on. Maybe I, maybe I pave the entire line here underneath the bots. Just because um, this guy can go on that pathway to make his journey faster. So let's do that. Let's just delete these stony bits and do a little bit of maintenance here for our, our bot. Okay, very good. We are one over, but that's fine. Excellent. How many stones do we have in here? Not a lot. We're not getting a lot of uh, extra stuff on stone. One of the things that we, we can try to do is there is cotton over here. We have, uh, what else do we have? We've got mushrooms. I'm wondering if we should start like a cotton farm. I do know that we're going to need straw and I don't think we've found any of that yet. We need the bulrushes, I think for the, not, wait, is it bulrushes? remember what we need for straw we need we need something though we need the cereal crop is this grass yeah it's grass i don't know if we have the cereal crop yet that's the main uh worry that i'm thinking about right now there we have bulrushes let's just have her go all the way over here and i will we can also check the map for this is sand Cereal crop. Okay, so there's some down here and there. Really? Oh, there is! 
is. Oh, look at that. Oh, fun. Okay, nice. So what I think I'm going to do, let's go over here. Kind of mess up our journey of exploration. Hooray. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, we can actually grow this one bigger. I think that's okay. So what I want to do is let's get our farm prep folks. Let's see. Farm, traveling farm prep. Let's move this thing. It's here. Okay. 12 by 12. That's perfect. Let's move that to here. We'll have this in the corner kind of. That'll be fine. I don't want to get too close to our denizens or we could do it maybe there. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. That's fine. And let's start some of our crop planters in here. No, not you. Not you. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, no, dude. We need to fix you. You are on the wrong thing. You need to be on the crop planting sign, which is where? There it is. Traveling farm prep. That sign. Okay. And then find nearest soil in there as well. Okay. So stop this one. I'm going to, we need to do the turf digger. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's already going. How fantastic. Okay. And then we're doing vertical lines. That seems okay. Um, the turf gatherer. Yep. They are also working. I thought they were all off. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Roving hole digger is off. Crop digger is also off. Wait, stop. Record. You need to be, oh, you are in there. Okay. That's fine. But we're going to stop you. Crop planting. That is in the correct area, but I don't know what we're going to do yet. You can't plant the cereal as you dig it up, right? You have to, um, change it. Okay. You're going to be an M bot. Sorry. So let's see. Uh, we need to figure out what to do with this. I think we need, we definitely need a blade to cut it. Uh, crude shears are shears, but they're not blades. Here's a blade. Okay. Let's go grab a blade and We will get this and we'll cut one of these crops. So you have to cut the crop, then process it in order to extract the seeds, right? Okay. So the cereal use a stick or a flail. Now I don't think we have any flails. Can we make one? I think you make them there, maybe. Okay, apparently we need more work tables because we ain't got none. Oh, wow, those, those were shaking very violently, very weirdly. Okay, picking up some stuff and things. Okay, now here. Let's get those there. Um, yeah, I think that's fine for now. They'll fix them up in a second. Let's do the, keep on going with these, uh, rows here. Actually, no, I want to put the flooring up here along this edge where we said we wanted to. Yep. And then we can just do something like this. Don't know how much leeway they need. And I guess the rest we can use up just here. Okay. Very nice. Okay. So what's going on over here? Why are these not working? This one's waiting for weeds. That one's waiting for weeds. So who is doing the weeds here? Weeds to pot 13. Huh? Let's start again. And same with you. Weeds to pot 13. Stop. Go. Also, those probably 
This one needs to be in berries, not weeds. Okay, I'm gonna collect these extra berry bits and put them in the in the jar. Okay. Okay. Seems okay. Ah, oh, we're getting stuff happening now. Okay, so I can get a stick right now. Wait, are these done? Not yet. Ah, uh, come on, folks. Make the things, please. Do we have a stick BP person? We do not. Ah, that is a new job opportunity. Let's go. All right, let's go. Uh, sure. One of you guys, we're going to do a record dump program. We're going to grab sticks uh, until hands full. And then we're going to give it to here till hands empty. Pete, we're going to be BP stick. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we got that done. Uh, all right. Very good. I'm just going to finish off this one construction so that I can access it. Okay, here we go. Can I make a flail? I can! All right, let's go. I'm going to move this machine over here. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong tool. I should have pressed M. Put this here and then we'll get a box for it as well. Uh, or, hmm, I don't really like that positioning there. M, rotate. It's going to take up the same amount of space anyway. There we go. Uh, okay, so let's get a bot to make this. Takes two sticks. Actually, we just do this. I, remember, I I don't remember if that was a thing in the game, like in the early, early game, because I keep pressing space to talk to a bot, to call a bot. I think that was like really early on and I just haven't gotten out of the habit yet. All right. So you're going to grab two sticks. Where are they? Hello? I've just lost them. There they are. Nope. Okay. It's fine. Check it over here. I did it again. I did it again. Dang it. Okay. And we'll just stop. Empty. Move the stick. Not that the stick needs to be moved. I'm just moving it anyway. All right. No. There we go. Okay. And then grab this, put it in the box and do that forever. Okay, you're going to be a flail maker. So, go. So we'll put that into makers. So now we're going to have those made automatically, which is kind of exciting. I guess I could have done the, like, grab four sticks. Oh, no, I can't because they don't have the four uh, thingies. They don't have four hand spaces. Uh, because most of them are just going to keep their, their thingies. Okay. That's fine. Um, now, now this, I guess the next bot is just going to be a part of the flailing community here. Um, the planter, uh, I guess this person is just going to be a part of the cereal a group, I think. Let's just make them that. Let's do cereal. Do we want to do like slightly more orangey and less? Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's do like this maybe is better. Okay, you're going to be cereal. But it is, though it is bright yellow. All right, fine. Good. Yay. Go. Serial team is a new team then. So the first one is going to be serial cutter. And we are going to get you to pick up a blade, which is here. 
and then you're going to cut down this stuff. Now we're going to need some storage for this stuff here. Okay, I'm going to stop right now there. So we're going to do this stuff. Oops, we need to record. I'll repeat until hands empty. Um, where is this bot? I'm just going to give it the blade. Okay, so you go for now. Now we're going to have to adjust the area, but I need to get the sign first. Let's get... Yeah, the charge main sign is not being used right now, so I'm just going to put it over here by the cereal. Okay, let's set it. Cereal. Okay. Keep pressing enter. We're going to go at least a little bit outside. It needs to be one outside because you see how this one kind of went outside the bounds there. So we're going to change the cereal cutter to operate in that area. Stop, record, find cereal crop in the sign area, please. Okay. And work it. Go, go, go. I'm going to place the sign here. And then we are going to get the next bot. Wait, what are you doing? You're the crop planting bot. Okay. Since it's a permanent thing, we are going to have just permanent bots for the cereal anyway. So you're going to be cereal flailer. Flailer. Go. So I want you to grab a flail when needed. I wonder if we should, oh no, it's still making shoes. That's fine. Okay, and then we go to here. Okay, so let's do this. Repeat till hands empty. Repeat forever. Of course, we're going to change this when... Wait, what? Why is this one upset? We have to find out why. Um, w once we get like the production targets, also we need to change this to be in the cereal area. Yeah, there we go. So go. Why are you unhappy, dude? Find nearest cereal crop. Use held item. Something has gone wrong here. I forgot to give the flail to the other one. It looks like it's holding multiple blades. Oh. That's not ideal. I don't know why it did that. That's weird. It's only set to do one, but it did, did multiple. I don't really understand that at all. So now there are many blades hanging in the air next to babies. This is great. <clears throat> Okay, so stuff is happening. So the cereal seed, I believe that goes in the uh, silo, as you see in the picture there. And the straw goes into a box. So let's uh, get those different things out here. Oh, and we also can build some log cabins for our, our uh, demanding babies, the lazy, lazy babies. There you go. Just have those built for now. Okay, so we need to get gatherers to gather this stuff up now. Um, and I don't know whether we should base the rest on, I mean, what we should base the rest on, really. Now, do we want this here? I don't think so. I think we actually want it on the opposite side so we can have production down here. Uh, okay, let's do this here. And we'll do our box over here. And we'll do this. I don't know how much this holds. This might hold a heck of a lot. So, let's see. Let's get another bot. You. How about you? You're going to be cereal seed gather. Okay. Record. Then you just want to gather all the stuff and things. And do this until hands full. 
and then chuck it in here. Repeat that until hands empty, and then repeat forever. Go. Right. Oh, whoops. Uh, no, 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 no. Sorry, dude. Messed you up. Yo. This needs to be in the area, which I failed to add. There you go. All right, and then this is going to be straw gather. I wish there was like a thing where you could like, because well, all I need to do is do the same thing as the other bot, except pick up a different material. Would be nice if like you could choose in the thingy, like instead, like just copy the whole program, but instead of that, just manually choose the straw from a from an item maybe menu instead of from uh, actually picking it up. All right, so repeat until hands full. Then go here. That will be... No. No, no, no. Until hands empty. This is kind of nice. This is like very... Uh, very quality of life right there. Alright, so what we want to do here... So this holds a hundred. So we don't need really more than one box. This uh, holds also one hundred with three boxes there. So what I'm going to do with the cereal cutters... I think we're going to have them do stuff... Not forever, but until something is full. Let's have the uh, until thing full. Let's do until the grain is full. And then repeat again. Go. So when it stops, it's going to keep checking to see if it's full or not. Okay, so there we have new industry, which I realize now that we might have some issues here. Uh, but this should be enough for grain. I think this should be plenty enough space to have this grain. Maybe what we do, though, maybe with the farm prep, let's move it over one as well. Let's do that. Let's do the crop hole digger. No, turf digger. Yeah. Let's move the turf digger. Stop record here. Let's move it over one because I forgot that all of this is... Um, Uh huh. Roving turf digger. Hello. Find nearest turf over here. Yeah. How come I can't move this? Now I can move it. That is really odd. I don't know why it does this. That I am confused about. All right. Go ahead and go. Anyway, this will work. Let's just make sure the cereal one does go there, but we need it to go a little bit further, actually. Just one over. Uh, we'll move it one tile to the right. There we go. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay. Place the sign that chicken is in the way. Oh, it's fine. It's actually fine. Okay. Chicken go there. Okay, cool. That is very, very excellent. I'm going to actually fill in a little bit of these uh, squares that don't need crops technically. These are the ones that are originally there. Kind of want to make it a little bit more consistent here. There you go. Go ahead and go about your business. But I needed that square. Ah! Darn it. Hi. Can I have your thing? Thank you. Okay, that's a little bit better. Uh, not that it really mattered. Uh, the flowers can stay. I like the flowers. They're kind of pretty. So, all right. We have done things and stuff. Also, you can get crazy high things. This isn't even high, by the way. You get crazy high stuff uh, over time. Oh, wait. We got a thing. I missed that we got the thing. Okay, let's start the next thing. Um, and I realize we are actually kind of over time. So let's finish up this episode very shortly. Structural parts. I think that's what we need. So let's get a stick and start that going. Actually, I'll take the one on the ground. I'll take that one, please. We'll chuck it in here. Wait, how is it still earning wove? Wait, what? 
Oh! Oh, I messed up there. Okay. Let's do... I'll let it finish. I'll just let it finish. I, I got confused. I just, I accidentally chose the same one, <laughs> but it's okay. Anyway, I think we've had a very good uh, time today. We set up a brand new cereal farm, which is fabulous. Um, oh, we need to fix that a little bit, don't we? Uh, we set up a brand new cereal farm. We uh, made a lot of progress with the research and we have uh, fixed some glitches in some of our systems as well which I don't know if they're actually fixed. Those guys don't look like they're doing much, so that's not ideal. Oh, whoops. Nah. I have to go get another one. Um, but yeah, we need to check on these berry food maker people because it doesn't look like we're generating a lot of wove, which is not ideal for sure. Okay, go put this over here, please. Uh, we need to check this, and something obviously is going on here. We'll check it in the next episode and make sure that they're getting consistent foodstuffs organized. Maybe we should even change this to mushrooms instead, because I think that would be kind of fun to have mushrooms instead of berries. I feel like every playthrough has berries, because that's like the default on several of the modes. So, wait, what? Dude, what is going on with you? No, stop. No! Ah! Why is he digging this? You know what, dude? You can't follow directions. I'm going to give you very specific instructions. Go. Alright, I will repair this before the next episode. And, um... Wait, how do we... There we go. There we go. Getting it. And uh, then we'll come back and enjoy some more Autonauts. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.